Okay, today is August 22nd, and that means it is Earth Overshoot Day. We are going to talk a little bit about that in class. Earth Overshoot Day is the day that um, the, the inhabitants, you and I, of Earth, we have used up the available resources for the year. Um, and now we're going into a deficit. So in class, we're gonna be talking about sustainability. And I just wanted to take you on a little tour of the area where I live so that you can see some examples of how we try to live more sustainably and maybe extend our Earth Overshoot Day a little bit. Maybe we could get a goal of trying to get Earth Overshoot Day into September or into October. Ideally, it should be December 31st, but we can, we can try for a little bit at a time. So let's take a look at a few um, ways that we can be more sustainable. Okay, so you're looking at just a normal parking lot here in Vienna. And this parking lot is an example of some attempts to be more sustainable. If you look at the parking lot, it's not just solid asphalt, it's bricks with spaces in between. I'm gonna zoom in on, you can see there are spaces in between the bricks. And what that allows the water to do when it rains is the water seeps through the bricks and goes into the soil below the parking lot. Then the water is cleaned by the soil before it even heads into the local waterways. So that is one example of sustainability that you here in Vienna. For example of sustainability that you see here in Vienna is this uh, bike path that we have. And you can see people walking and biking along the bike path. They're not using their cars in order to go places. They are using non-fossil fuel methods of transportation, which is much more sustainable than getting in your car and trying to go somewhere. So it's always great to think about carpooling or walking or riding a bike to places that are relatively close to where you live.